Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for this episode of the Bullet Points this Saturday morning, we are going to talk about something that I'm really catching a lot out there when I'm putting out my feelers to figure out what's going on in the gun world and the gun control world, to be honest with you. You're hearing a lot of a comparison to gun rights and gun ownership to driving a car and a driver's license. The gun controllers seem to be making a very direct parallel between the ability to drive a car and requiring a license and having a firearm in a given right, but they're kind of ignoring the rights thing and making them both equal. They're not equal, and that's really important. In fact, the more that they do this, the more they will undermine the gun control effort. So by all means, please continue. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Everything is linked in the description box below. I'm going to reference an article from Minnesota specifically to prove this point. I'm going to do a quick read from our sponsor, and then we're going to hit it and hit it hard. I want to hear from you guys on this one because this, you're going to hear a lot more. Now, our sponsor, Armed American Supply, is a small family-run business owned by a retired law enforcement officer and his wife. They design and print and ship everything in-house from their shop in southern New Jersey. This week, they are running by buy two, get one free sale. If you're the type who loves quality, Second Amendment, and blue-collar apparel, this is a chance to grab three for two in the description box below. And thank you to Armed American Supply to making this possible. Now, like I said, everything's linked in the description box, but I want to show you guys this because this is really important. This is something that's coming up a lot, and the way to beat them and get the why behind it is to meet it and see it and destroy it before it even gets air. All right, check this out. Minnesota lawmaker proposes bill to require license for gun owners. Now this came about like a couple days ago. You can already see where this is going. We require licenses for driving, why not for owning guns? So it's a constitutional right and one's not. Other than that, no big deal. But check this out because it, it's really a weak argument. Senator John Marty from Roseville told Five Eyewitness News his proposed bill, which would require gun owners to have a license, would, in the long run, help save lives. Completely unread. Un um, unsubstantiated. Under Marty's proposed bill, anyone purchasing a gun at a commercial business, gun show, or through individual sales would have to acquire a license, which would require gun safety education and training, similar to what people have to do when they obtain a driver's license. There's so much here we have to unpack. Let's just start with the basics. Anyone purchasing a gun pretty much across the board, you're going to have to register and have a license, just like you would a car. Okay, so now you have a registry. Now you have a licensing for a right. It's a privilege now. It's not a right anymore because you would deserve a license before you can even enable yourself with that right. That's a problem. That's why you can't conflate the idea of owning a gun, which is in, it's enshrined in our Bill of Rights in the number two, versus um, driving a car. Not quite the same. One's a privilege. One's a necessity for a lot of people. But one's a granted right that is protected. Very, very different, which is why licensure and registration is a bit of a problem. Not to mention, any time in history, worldwide, there's been a registry that's been followed by quite quickly by a confiscation. This is not hard, okay? But they're going to keep doing it because they think it sounds good. It's a good talking point. And that's why we're hitting this one because it's just, it's, it's simple. Quote, it seems to me that it is no more of a burden on lawful gun owners than driver's licenses are. Lawful burden on drivers, said Marty. Okay, if you're talking about it from a perspective of taking a license test, yes, the exact same. If you talk about regulating a right versus driving a car and determining if you can enable yourself with that right and take something that you have as a guaranteed right, that's a bit of a problem. This is an easy one, but this is where they get into trouble. Because the more laws that they build off this premise, the more it will be unconstitutional because they are comparing apples and oranges and presenting it as oranges to oranges. It doesn't make sense and it will not hold water. That's why this is going to hurt them in the long run, which honestly, keep doing it. I'm down. Quote, for young people, the 15 year olds who can easily access guns now and commit armed carjackings and murders and other things, you know, they would have to go through training and they would have to go through a process to do this, said Marty. And... We would have limits so that some of these 16-year-olds couldn't go out and buy guns. Okay, this is the part where it's concerning the level of silly. Because if I go to Giffords.org, this is not a right-wing source. Minimum age to purchase and possess in Minnesota. Because that's where this article is from. This is the state we're talking about. Minnesota prohibits a person under the age of 16 from possessing a firearm without being accompanied by a parent or guardian. How would licensure be affect someone who can't even buy a gun in your state? What are you talking about? 
and provides that the parent or guardian may not knowingly direct, allow, or permit a person under the age of 16 to possess a firearm unless, here's the criteria, the state prohibits a federally licensed firearms dealer from transferring a handgun or semi-automatic, no, a person under age 18 without complying certain background checks, so 18 for a rifle. Minnesota generally prohibits the possession of ammunition, handguns, and semi-automatic situations by persons under the age of 18. Okay, what are you talking about? In your example of why this would help save lives, you compare it to driving a car with a license, and then you say it would prevent 15-year-olds and 16-year-olds from buying guns without a license, but they can't buy them legally in your state anyway, nor anyone else in the, anywhere else in the United States. What are you talking about? The reason that I'm bringing this to you is, number one, I want to hear what you guys think, but also this is what we're competing against. When you show light on it, it's pretty straightforward and easy to go, that's dumb. Any questions? Let me know what you guys think. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this one, and I will see you tonight at the 9 p.m. segment. I'm Braden. See you later.